Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. I have a couple things to show you. I have been... Oh, let me get situated here. Of course, everything falls just as I turn the camera on. I have been playing with um, my porch prince, her new sewing kit. It's so shabby. And, oh, it's gorgeous. So I started with a... Um, it's bag booklet, but then I ended up making a journal out of it, but you can, um, put ephemera in that, whatever you want to do. Um, I put a lot of little pieces of, this is tatting, there's vintage, um, new old laces, some of Crafty Me Shop. I put some of alpaca fiber on this. This is already sold, but I got three more I started. And then I just had fun. I was just thinking of different fabrics that maybe somebody is making something in the 1800s. And this is a little button card from Jeannie. I'll put that in it. And then I just cut some stuff out of the um, kit. And then I made a little booklet out of the sewing kit. It's so cute. How's everyone doing? Oh, I tell you, it's just getting tough. A little needle book that I made. And the, the paper is so pretty. You can pick up the blues. You can pick up the pinks. I made different little pockets. You can put ephemera in it. There's stuff from the kit. I made a little, another tag. And ruffles. Another little tag. Flip flop. These are G curves. That's the bodice that she did. Envelope and a little tag. <clears throat> and just some pretty trim. I just had a good time with it. Collage piece I have or I made. And this was this was a file folder, but I made it into a little book. And if you see this paper was pink, I took a jug of water, put some instant coffee in it. And then I said I wanted it a little browner, so I put I had some of this is Walmart brand gel food coloring, and it was brown, so I put a little brown on it, and it came out like um, I don't know if you could see it, just like the avocado dye, that brownish pink. It's just perfect. So I have that, and this is an envelope with the bobbin. And then so just some writing and a guest check, another little pad. So you can write in the journal, you can take notes. Then I made this little note. This was um, Susan Olson, innkeeper. She had these little um, cute little needle books probably a couple years ago now. But aren't those cute? So you can do, you can add pockets in there if you want. And then just a piece of that pinkish paper that I dyed. And then just some, I use a lot of my rusty pins with some little fabric. And these, the kit is just beautiful. And there's, all these empty packets will have something in there. There's another one and another one. And then a dress that's a tuck. And it's your surprise is a packet there and then there. Oh, and that doesn't go on there. So I have that, and then these are the ones I'm going to make because the paper is just so pretty. So I already have the book started, and I have this paper, and that one's going to be green. They're all going to be the same color schemes. That, that one I picked for the cover of that one, and that one. I like working with sewing stuff. So those will probably be listed. I got a party today, but yesterday I had to mow lawn. I asked my husband. I told my husband I need to exercise. So he brings me home and push the lawn more. But I couldn't say anything because I asked for it. So, yeah, that was fun. So this is uh, similar to the other one I made. It is, has um, oh, just tons of um, my hoarding lace. What did I do with it? I only got a little piece left from Esme's shop. Is it not just gorgeous? 
This is the stuff I tuck away and then I'll use it sparingly. But this was, um, okay, there's one more piece here. Oh, but I'm in frame here. Oh, this is just a pretty simple, there's a little, uh, decorated bag with some paper in it. This I used garden, English garden country, the English country garden from Shabby Dabby Doo Da. The blues and the purples and a lot of blue. And this, this was just folded and I did not, you know, I just like it like that. So I just put a rose there and a flip up. And just some, there's some pieces of ephemera and then this flips up. And then there's a packet there that flips up. Paper's torn. Ah, coffee died. It's a little notepad. And it sticks in there. And then just the, just the pretty with the blues. The blues, pinks, purples. And this one just goes up. Because I like that color there. Yeah, I coffee died. Oh, I can't remember what that was. Hmm. And this too. What was this? Shoot, I gotta find that again. I just use the blues and some more. And then this is an envelope that opens up this way. There'll be anything like I said is empty. I'll have surprises in there. And this page, I love this page. It's so simple, but I just I think I like the blues. Just pulls it out. And another blue and writing and a little purple just to keep it cohesive and then some more ephemera you can put wherever you like right up some more ends and then a little bag with a big piece of a piece of dyed paper and then the pretty paper and this comes with this little envelope and I put in an extra piece of this beautiful oh this is so pretty I can just imagine a beautiful gown made out of this so I put in a little piece of that and then it comes with a bigger envelope and then this comes with it's a book uh, I think it's a Donna Parker book it's a um, match booklet and it comes in there and just some pieces of ephemera from Shabby Baby Doo Da. So you have that envelope, this, this, and then I made another little bag and this has another little, just a little bag journal for notes. Maybe you could put it in your purse, just plain paper and some more of the Shabby Baby Doo Da. I have that. Alrighty, so I will, um, I got all my, um, what did I get in the mail? Um, my clay and some more molds. And I will play with that. And, um, I think I want to do a hardcover next. So I think that might be my next video of using the paper clay on a hardcover and I think that's it. So I'm going to work on these for a little while. And then we have a nice outdoor party. So I hope you guys have a nice Sunday. Stay safe. Stay positive. I know we had breakfast with my father and brother. And by the time we left, I think we were all depressed. <laughs> so, but we got to get out of it. Just hope for the best and have faith. Somehow it'll, we'll get through with it together. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.